A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and presbyters, in agreement with the whole church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Barsabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have, with one accord, decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of these, you'll be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God, my heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. Jesus says that, to the disciples. He says that to every single one of us. He has appointed us to go and bear fruit that will remain. What is some of the fruit that you have borne in your life? Maybe it's your children, grandchildren. Uh, maybe it's something at work, in your business. Or maybe it's uh, something within you. Uh, you've either taking upon yourself in reading scripture or studying the faith that uh, you've born a new understanding or a deeper appreciation in your soul. That's, that's fruit right there as your uh, union with God has, has ripened and uh, increased. Uh, maybe it's something uh, in a person that you've helped them uh, come to, to a realization if not something specifically religious, maybe you've just helped that individual uh, maybe overcome an issue or, or be more at peace by you know, walking them through or listening them out. You've borne fruit in that way. And you see, there's, there's many different types of fruit, many different ways to bear fruit. You know, when the uh, Barnabas and Paul and, and the others uh, go to Antioch, uh, they don't necessarily deliver like the most significant message of all time. I mean, they're just telling these people, okay, um, you don't need to, uh, or you can't eat meat sacrificed to idols. You can't have blood from meats of strangled animals and don't participate in unlawful marriage. It's pretty kind of basic uh, laws, nothing that looks all that different than the Mosaic law. 
And yet, you see at the end of this reading, the people are delighted with the exhortation. Why? Okay, so there's some fruit being born with this exhortation. Well, it's, again, read that passage. It is, our, is of, of our opinion from the Holy Spirit and from us to X, Y, Z. So in other words, the exhortation is coming not from the disciples or the apostles or Paul or Barnabas. It's coming from the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's inspiring them. And at this particular point in time, this is what the Holy Spirit wants to get across. And the people are delighted because they're being touched by the Holy Spirit, not necessarily from the words of the, the men or women themselves, if you follow me. So if the Holy Spirit is working in each one of us, whether, and then again, whatever the action might be, bearing you know, children or coming to a deeper understanding or helping a neighbor, that's going to bring fruit. That's going to be delight because you now are like the Blessed Mother and that you are an instrument of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit working through you to impact the other people in your life. That's the beauty of our faith. That's the, the uh, reason why Jesus says we are not his slaves, but his friends. Amen.